All right, let's make some tuna with some caramelized onions. These onions are gonna have a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper in them and some cinnamon. It's kind of a cool recipe. So we're gonna thinly slice our onions. So we're gonna take our onions, we're gonna put them right into a saute pan with some oil, and we're gonna let them caramelize. We're gonna give it a little help by adding a little bit of sugar, some salt and pepper, and some crushed red peppers, and a few cinnamon sticks, which is kind of, uh, kind of cool. You know, Sicily has so much uh, influence, different influence, in their food, obviously Italian from the, from the mainland of Italy, but also from places like Greece, uh, Morocco, you know, some of that North African flavor that, that kind of sneaks in and seeps into the food there. That's why the food there is so just amazing and so diverse and so very different than what you might consider a typical Italian food. So we're gonna let these cook down. The cinnamon and the, uh, the crushed red pepper will permeate those onions and we'll get a nice sort of color on them. Uh, the sugar will help that. I mean, there's natural sugars in the onions as well, but by adding a little extra sugar, it just kind of helps the cause a little bit. Now, tuna. That's a great piece of fish right there. You know, in the south of Italy, very, very popular. And these are, these are big fish, you know, these are huge fish. So think of it as like a steak. You really hold it to lots of big flavors. Let's cut some steaks out of here. And when I cook tuna, I usually don't like thin steaks. I want it to be sort of thick, you know? Or something like that, maybe like an inch to an inch and a half in thickness. You want the tuna to be nice and firm. You want it to have a, a real sort of brightness to it. I think three is enough. I always tell people, like when you go to the fish store, you can, you can actually look at the fish and tell if the fish is tired. I mean, it has this tired look to it if it's not as fresh. But if it's glistening, that means that it's probably really, really fresh. Let those keep cooking. Very simple here. Some light oil like a canola oil. Just lightly brushed. A good amount of salt and pepper. Remember, this is a very dense piece of fish, so we need some good seasoning here. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And we're gonna cook these fairly rare. So it's gonna go pretty quickly, which means we need some high heat on our grill. So we're gonna take the tuna off now. Don't wanna overcook the tuna. Beautiful. All right, tuna's done, nice and rare. Just wanna sort of sear it on the outside. Otherwise, you're gonna lose that beautiful moisture from the tuna. We have some onions that I've been caramelizing with a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper, tiny bit of sugar, and uh, some cinnamon stick. And we're gonna take the cinnamon sticks out because these are not edible. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of red wine vinegar splash of olive oil, and some fresh mint and parsley. We're gonna finish it with the herbs. Just stir it in, take it off the heat, grab some tongs, put the onions right on top of the tuna. All the juices from the onions will just kind of drip down. This totally reminds me of Sicily. Some of this delicious olive oil, and I'm gonna take just a couple of sprigs of flat Italian parsley. There we go. Tuna and onions. All right, gotta make sure this tastes right. I always think Mediterranean food is always good with a splash of olive oil at the end. Doesn't hurt, that's for sure. Mm. The first thing you notice is the fresh mint, and then out of nowhere comes that cracked red pepper to just say, hello, I'm here. A little bit of heat, and it just works so well with this tuna.